Hey folks, today I want to show you how I have set up my VS code to only lint changes instead of the entire file. And what I mean by that is if I'm in, I think it's easiest to show with some CSS. If I'm in a CSS file and I create a new class, so I'll say class two, and I'll give it a, I don't know, font size, 2am, uh, color green. Now, whenever I hit save, you'll notice that it has um, linted this and sort of reformatted it. So I have a, a, a tool uh, installed in VS Code that uh, rejigs um, this to a standard layout, um, which is like, which I prefer and it's good to have on projects. But you'll note that my class up here did not change even though this is all in one line it should be on several lines and that's because of a setting that i've enabled in vs code that uh, i think is very useful okay i'll show you the uh, the settings for this and then i'll explain why uh, i think it's a good idea so to get to your settings you can click on code and settings and settings or on the mac what i do is, is hit command and comma and that'll take you to your settings page and what you want to start typing in the search is format on and you'll get the format on save mode. Now I have mine set to modifications. Now what that means, and if we click on this, we can see um, it will, if you have source control enabled on your project, which you should do, so that's get or, you know, using Bitbucket or, or whatever, um, you can enable uh, anytime it sees a change, it will try and format those changes. So that's what I've done here. So it's seen a change. That's the wee green line is showing me that this is new to my version control setup. Uh, so it has made the change. It has seen there's no change here. So it hasn't tried to modify it at all. So why is this important? Um, and the main reason is uh, now obviously in our uh, sample file here, we're six lines long. So whatever we do is going to be fine. But um, in, in most you know real projects, you have quite large files you're working with and things like the sort of auto formatting tools can create lots of change. And that's not a good thing. Um, whenever you're like trying to review the, you know, the, the, the pull request or just sort of audit the changes that have been made, you kind of want to keep that separate. So, if the work, if the, the, the sort of the ticket you were working on was here, just um, you know reformat everything, then fine. But if it's your day to day work, you probably don't want to touch code that you haven't actually touched. It just you know sort of messes with the audit history and and all that type of stuff. So this sort of keeps it more manageable, um, which is good for your peace of mind and the peace of mind of your wider team. Um, now I'll show you what happens. So if I didn't have that enabled, if I changed it, so the default is file. And you, there's also, by the way, another setting called modifications if available. And what that tries to do a best sort of attempt. So it'll see if you can use a version controlled version and see if there's a difference. And if there is, it'll only change the diff. Uh, but if it can't, it'll just change the entire file. But it, so if we just do file, and I go back here and hit save, you'll see it's made this change and it's modified these now five lines. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, any questions, do leave a comment. Cheers.